hyping myself up. <laughs> Cause I saw myself in the screen. <laughs> all right, so I obviously don't do all that when I go out into the world, but sometimes it feels like I should with everybody getting COVID and Omicron. Welcome to the video, you guys. I hope this video is finding you guys happy and healthy. Yeah, so I thought I would film a video just showing how I prevent myself from getting COVID. All those measures, those extreme measures of covering your whole body with plastic and multiple masks and gloves, that doesn't work. I do find it funny though when I see people in public with gloves on and like dishwashing gloves and like, but they're like touching everything and then taking them off and then putting them back on. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen that before. So with a lot of people getting COVID right now, um, in all seriousness, I do do a few interventions that I think has made all the difference in me not getting COVID yet. Now, everybody's vulnerable to the virus, so this, this doesn't mean that I will get it later, but I haven't gotten it so far. I have never tested positive for COVID yet, and I do really believe in these interventions that I do every day for myself. So I would love to share them with you guys. I'm about to head out. I am actually about to head out to the grocery store, and I'm the one that does the grocery shopping a lot and I'm very careful at the grocery store. I think the grocery store is one of the places that people do get sick from because there's a lot of people in close proximity touching a lot of the food items. So I, I want to show you guys how I handle the grocery store and grocery shopping and how I prevent myself from getting in too much contact with germs. They're very simple. I'm sure you guys do them too. And then when I get back from the grocery store, I will talk with you guys some more. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I upload one to two videos a week all about living healthy. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you learned something and I hope you have fun with me. Okay, so of course, I wore my mask in the grocery store. And as you guys probably already know, just make sure when you wear your mask that it covers your mouth and your nose. Preferably it's good to wear like a surgical mask or a mask that has like the wire here so that it really does like seal your face a little bit more than just like cloth without a wire. Josh bought these, I think they're called K95s. They basically just kind of hug your face a little bit more than a regular mask. Let's see if I can open it. Yeah, so these things I'm sure you've seen before and they do, they hug your face tighter. They just really hurt my ears. So I've been trying to wear them, but I just can't. I'd rather actually wear an N95, which I only can get those at work. You can get those online also. I'd, I don't really know that an N95 is necessarily like the best thing to wear. A surgical mask with some wire here is just fine in my opinion. I really don't think you need to cover your head. I don't think you need to wear eye protection for like being in the public. We do at work because of course I'm around COVID patients that are actually positive, but I don't know that really like wearing goggles and face shields like out in public is that necessary. Really just dis distancing yourself still at least six feet. I, I try to be more like eight to 10 feet away from other people if possible. Really just wearing your mask that seals your nose. So in places like the grocery store also, I do take the time to, if they provide sanitizing wipes, which most grocery stores do, I take the time to wipe down my cart, especially the areas I know I'll be touching so I sanitize the cart like where my hands will be and if they provide like Purell or disinfecting gel I will use that also this is my friend's kid <laughs> her her son had a two-year-old birthday party last year and she provided these gel things and put his name on it Elliot's second birthday so Caitlin if you're watching this I still have it but anyways I'm about halfway done when these bottles run out I just buy the big thing at Costco and I just refill these so I'm not like buying little ones ones often and that's what that's how I handle it so I have one in the car and I have one in my purse and I just make sure that they're both full or at least halfway full so after the grocery store after I go anywhere I get back in the car and I the first thing I do is I hand sanitize and it's now it's just a habit that I do that yeah and then lastly just making a conscious effort of like not touching my face not touching something and then putting like a food item in my mouth before hand sanitizing so really just making a conscious effort to not like touch my face put food in my mouth without washing my hands or hand sanitizing. <laughs> Never mind, I, I don't do that. People ask me, um, there's been a few people who have asked me if I spray down or disinfect my grocery bags and my groceries when I bring them in the house. No, I don't do that. Would it cut down on the COVID germs? Yes, is it necessary? I don't think so. I think that's literally overkill and maybe a little bit OCD. And you know, you gotta keep in mind your mental health with this whole pandemic too. Like I don't wanna 
constantly be worried about like the germs on my groceries and everything. What I do do though is I wash my hands when I get home from the grocery store or wherever I've been. I'll use hand sanitizer when I get in my car and then just from like touching things of coming into, so we live in a fourplex, of course you guys know that. So I you know I have tenants and stuff that are always com coming in and out of the building. So I actually do wash my hands also when I get home from anywhere. But in terms of like disinfecting your groceries and your grocery bags and stuff like this, I don't, I don't do that. I, I just, yeah. Also, I guess when it comes to produce, just make sure you wash it before you eat it. If you're eating something like this, it doesn't matter because you're peeling off the peel and baking it. So yeah, I mean, that kind of stuff I pay attention to, but things like this, by the way, this is the best key forever. I mean, I'm not gonna disinfect the bottle. All right, so I just got in from taking Yuma to the dog park. A lot of dogs there, by the way, but we only lasted an hour, or I only lasted an hour because it was so so cold, I cannot feel my hands. Speaking of being outside, the other thing that I try to do, it's easy for me because I have Yuma, but try to get outside at least once a day. I try to go for my morning walk every day. I have Yuma, so I have to go anyway. So before I got Yuma, I went on a morning walk all the time, just getting that vitamin D from the sunshine and here it's cloudy, but you're still getting vitamin D even if it's cloudy. And then just to wake up as the sun comes up, it's really refreshing, it's very good for the mind. I'm just really good for the whole body just to wake up outside. All right, so it is the evening and I'm getting ready to cook some dinner. So my next tip for staying healthy and preventing COVID is of course, good nutrition. So whole foods, nutrient dense foods, I always preach that. But really find foods that are healthy that you like to eat so it's not such a burden to eat it. Forgot to show you my lunch today, but I ate berries and yogurt and nuts. And then of course I drizzled my honey on top. I really liked that lunch. And what else did I have? A protein shake before, after my workout. So whole foods, nutrient dense foods is the key to having a really good immune system and for fighting off infections and especially COVID. Also just staying away from the processed stuff and sugar. You know, a treat here and there, like I always say, hashtag balance is good, but having 80, 85% of your food intake to be whole foods, fruits, vegetables, you know, whole grains, stuff like that is very, very important. The other thing that I've been doing or not doing <laughs> is I have not been going to the gym. I have my garage gym, thankfully, uh, which is actually saving me, but I have not been actually going to the gym because I just am not comfortable with that. Any enclosed area where people are sweating and breathing hard, even though my gym requires us to wear masks, I'm still not comfortable. The Omicron variant spreads so easily and so fast that I'm just not comfortable going to the gym right now. I'm hoping that later on when COVID settles back down, I was going to the gym actually last year for a little bit it only lasted three months i think the last time i actually went to the gym was end of summer so a good six months ago before we got yuma so it's been a long time so if you guys are still going to the gym um i think it's okay i would just be very careful make sure you're distancing yourself from everybody else you keep your mask on. I just don't trust other people to keep their mask on. I see a lot of people have their mask down or just over their mouth, which defeats the whole point. So that's my next tip is maybe don't go to the gym right now. Go for walks, go for runs. If you have some equipment at home, use it. You just need your own body weight. That's it for a good workout. Go to my Instagram, by the way, if you want some ideas for home workouts. I have a lot of body weight workouts on there from even a couple years ago. And I'm planning on posting more workouts on my IG. I just have to find the time to like record it and stuff like that. It takes a little while. But yeah, find workout programs out there that are home-based and you'll be good to go. The next thing that I do every day to keep myself healthy is to take my supplements every day. These supplements that I take are mostly for fertility but there are a few that you guys can take just to keep your immune system really healthy and i swear by these that if you take these every day you'll be so much healthier your immune system will be stronger and your chances of getting covid are way less the single most important supplement you could be taking right now to help prevent yourself from getting covid vitamin d Oh my gosh, you guys, this is key to having a really strong immune system. There's also a pattern going on in our COVID ICU and it's been going on since the beginning of COVID. We test the vitamin D levels on every single COVID patient and they're always low every time. There hasn't been a COVID patient that I've taken care of at least where they've had normal vitamin D levels. I take 2000 units 
a night. At least take a thousand units. There are supplements that have like a thousand units up to 5,000 units. I'm not sure if 5,000 units a night is that necessary unless you're a really big person. I take about 2,000, so it's one pill of these a night. I get this big bottle at Costco and a thousand units is, more, is better than nothing a night. So every night I take vitamin D and I make my husband take it too. And then we also take a fish oil. So I like this one, I also get it from Costco because it's just uh, salmon oil. They don't put like any additives to it, no, no preservatives, it's just wild Alaskan salmon oil, really high in omega-3s, and that's why I take it. In order to have a really good immune system, you need enough omega-3s in your life, in your diet, and most of us don't get enough omega-3s in our diet, so we need the supplement. I really like these. I take two a night. Josh takes two a night, but really any omega-3 supplement that you can find is better than not taking an omega-3 supplement. Sometimes the omega-3s are, like if you find a really cheap one, they're not supposed to be cheap. This one is probably around the $20 mark which is expensive for a supplement but it's because it's high quality if you're trying to buy an omega-3 supplement and it's cheap just just make sure you read the ingredients on the back because they're probably adding other stuff to make it cheap so just make sure it's a high quality omega-3 supplement every night with your vitamin d so these two i swear by so the last thing that i need to do besides really working on my stress level and you guys know my situation that i'm in right now with quitting my job and going through ivf soon that i'm kind of in a high stress state so for me to get my stress levels down besides you know meditation and keeping myself in check i'm trying to get enough sleep and with anxiety levels, how they are, how high they are for me, and my stress levels. Sometimes I have a hard time falling asleep, I have a hard time staying asleep. So the two supplements that I've been taking that have been really helping me is melatonin. So I take three milligrams a night, so it's one little tablet a night and I just dissolve it under my tongue. And then I also am taking magnesium and it's just pure magnesium capsules, they don't add anything to it. And I just take 400 milligrams, so one tab a night. Josh takes this also, sometimes I'll take melatonin. Actually, I'm taking the melatonin not for sleep. Originally it was for egg quality, believe it or not. So my naturopath prescribes this for me but it really helps me fall asleep. So it's a natural supplement. Melatonin is a natural hormone in your body that is supposed to be up at night and down during the day. And so if you take a supplement at night, it does help with sleep. So yeah, magnesium, melatonin, you can get it over the counter. I believe I also get this one at Costco. Costco is the place to go for supplements. Just make sure that they're high quality. Okay, so I'm gonna make some dinner now and I'm trying to think of any other tips I have for you guys to stay healthy, prevent COVID. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple and basic, but I just wanted to kind of fill you in on what I've been doing every day. I haven't tested positive yet. I haven't gotten sick in a while, so I think they're working. <laughs> yeah, so just, you know, use your common sense out there. Just be very mindful of where you are, how many people are around you, your mask, washing your hands, being really conscientious of not touching your face or putting food in your mouth if your hands aren't dirty and you haven't sanitized recently. So just those little things do make a huge difference. The supplements are huge, eating good food, getting sleep, monitoring your stress levels, and all these things overlap just a healthy lifestyle in general. Just also realize, keep in mind, I know it's really hard if you're not working in the hospital and in healthcare to know how bad the healthcare system is in terms of staffing. I feel like as a nurse, the healthcare system is crashing. So I am here to remind you to please take care of yourself. You don't wanna be in the hospital right now. You don't wanna be sick right now because the quality of care is not how it should be right now. Also, if you do have to travel somewhere that involves being on a plane, going across the country, being away for a while, something like that, just make sure when you come back home that you do quarantine for at least five to seven days and you retest yourself after five to seven days of isolation just to make sure that you're negative because even if you come back from a trip and you're negative initially, it could become positive after a few days. So just make sure that you just use your common sense and you are conscientious of the people that you're coming in contact with and you try your best to isolate for five to seven days after you travel somewhere and then after that, retest yourself, make sure you're negative for COVID and then and you can go about your daily life and interacting with people, you know, and, and on a safe basis. That's the status right now with Omicron is it's just spread so fast and it pops up so fast and people one day are negative, the next day are positive. So just be really careful and mindful of that. And us healthcare workers are really struggling. So just kind of keep us in your thoughts and prayers. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was an encouraging video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it because it really does help support my channel. And always remember to be kind to yourself. Oh, and leave a comment too. I really like those. <laughs>